Hey guys, this is Jen from From Head to Toe and today I wanted to do another tag video for you. I haven't done a tag in kind of a while so I wanted to do this one that I got a few requests to do and this is the shoe tag, the confessions of a shoeaholic tag video. So let me just get started. The first question is heels or flats? I think in my heart of hearts I'm definitely a heels girl. You know, I'm a girly girl. I like heels especially because I'm on the shorter end and I like to have that little boost but I do think that on a lot of days when I'm just running errands or just running out of the house I'm always wearing flats but I never wear just like tennis shoes to run around or anything but I wear my Uggs a lot like a lot more than I should it's freezing right now so number two is what are your go-to shoes these have been my go-to shoes and they're hideous and beat up because I've had them for a couple years already these are just some gray sheepskin boots. They're actually emus. Um, they're super super warm and comfy and the inside where the foot area is is actually like molded to my feet. So I love these. I trample around all the time in them and lately they really have been my go-to shoes. Okay so number three, what is your favorite shoe trend at the moment? And that definitely definitely has to be the color block trend. These are some purple suede pumps that I have. It has a little bit of a hidden platform. You can just wear like a really neutral outfit and then have just a little bit of a funky colored shoe and it really seems to brighten up the whole look. Number four, what is your least favorite shoe trend? I'm going to go with the whole like clog trend. I think they're kind of big and clunky and I don't really like the pointed toe thing. So I'm gonna go with clogs, like the really big platform clog. So number five, what is your most expensive shoe? There's some suede boots from Stuart Weitzman and I bought these I think around the beginning of last year because I'd really been looking everywhere high and low for some black suede wedge boots that I could wear sort of everywhere and would match everything. Uh, my friend has a pair and I just like envied them all of last winter so I knew I would have to get a pair and I would wear them all the time. So I ended up splurging on these but actually I think these were on a pretty steep sale. Um, Stuart Weitzman boots tend to be kind of pricey and I think I got these for 200 some dollars which is I mean I guess that's pretty typical for boots but still that's like a lot more than I would usually spend I think they're originally like five or six hundred dollars so I think it was a pretty good steal but it was still a lot of money for me and these are probably the most I've paid for any shoes not to say that I wouldn't spend more on other shoes it's just a lot of shoes I just don't fit Louboutins their size 34 is too big for me but if I could fit them, I would probably save up some money and buy a pair anyway, but that's not really something I can even do, so I don't even worry about it. Number six, what are your most wanted pair? My most wanted pair right now is more of an idea than an actual shoe. I really, really want a really funky, high platform wedge sandal for this coming spring and summer, which I've had a lot of difficulty finding one that's exactly perfect. So that's still my current hunt. So number seven is what's your most embarrassing shoe story? So my, my most embarrassing shoe story probably has to do with these shoes right here. And these were my wear everywhere everyday shoes last summer. And they're actually really terrible quality. They're from the kids section of Target. I'm kind of in that in-between size where I can wear some kids shoes and I can wear the smallest sizes of women's shoes. So when I'm going shoe shopping, it can be kind of embarrassing if I'm caught somewhere where I'm wearing kids shoes. You can tell that they're not very well made if I take them off my feet. Like if, they, if they're if they all the way on the floor on my feet, they actually look pretty cute. But if I show like a salesperson, like if I have to switch shoes, you know, I would go to like Nordstrom or something and ask to try on a bunch of shoes. And then when I have to slip those off my feet, I kind of try to like, hide them a little bit just because I don't want to be that person walking in the shoe department and then blatantly there's like you know butterflies and hearts all over the shoe. Sometimes I just have to suck it up and say okay I'm going to just spend more money on buying more quality adult shoes 
instead of like still having that urge to peek around to the kids section just because I know it fits. Okay, so the next question is number eight, pick a shoe and share a story. So the shoe I decided to pick for this one is this one right here. And this is a Sam Edelman wedge. I think it's called the Wilma Booty. And this is one that I had been keeping an eye out on for a lot of last fall and winter. Like I kept looking at it and then I wasn't sure. I didn't buy it and I kept looking at it and looking at it and coming back to it. I then saw it on one of my friend's blogs. Wendy of Wendy's Lookbook actually had bought these shoes and had been wearing them in her post. And I was like, oh, you know, it looks so good on her. I think I need to go back and buy it. And so when I went back to the Nordstrom website, of course they were sold out in my size and I had not seen them come back in stock at all and I was just devastated and so it was so funny when I just went to California like um, last month I actually got to have dinner with Wendy and we went shopping a little bit along with our friend Kelly of Alterations Needed and Wendy was wearing these boots and I was like oh Wendy like I had been having my eye on these boots for the longest time and she let me try on hers and I was like oh they're actually really comfortable and really cute. As soon as I came home I checked the Nordstrom website and there they were in my size on sale and so I felt like it was kind of fate you know when when you go on these really desperate hunts for the perfect shoe and then it comes back right when you think you didn't have any more luck so this was one of those shoes I have been wearing this a lot it looks perfect with skinny jeans because the the shaft of the boot comes up high enough to actually hide whatever socks you're wearing and so I've been loving these and thank you so much Wendy for wearing them and encouraging me to buy it again so that's my story about this shoe. So number nine is how many pairs of shoes do you own? I want to say conservatively that I have 50 pairs of shoes. So out of that 50, I would say I probably have about maybe like 20 to 30 pairs of heels. I have probably about 10 pairs of boots. And then the rest are just random like flip-flops and flats and stuff. That's a lot of shoes, but it's not as crazy as some of my other friends. So I, I try to be pretty good about what I keep and, and make sure that the shoes that I do hold on to, I wear a lot. So yeah. So sorry about the lighting changing. My battery just died, so I had to charge it a little bit and the sun is going down. But anyway, let me go back to the question. So number 10 is when was the first time you wore high heels? And I would have to say that would probably be around the time that I visited Korea when I was in junior high. So maybe I was like 13 or 14 years old. So number 12, 11. How much do you spend on shoes? Gosh, if I can find a really good sale, then maybe $50 to about $150. That's usually my typical range for buying shoes. Um, number 12, where are your favorite places to buy shoes? My very, very favorite place is to look on Nordstrom.com because that seems to have the best um, selection of the types of shoes that I usually look for. And they also go on sale there occasionally. And they, they just have probably like the best return policy out of any place. 13, have you got a pair of shoes you regret purchasing? Yes and no. I had a pair of Cole Haan slingbacks that I really, really wanted to like them because they're supposed to have the Nike Air technology and be extra comfy and all of that. But the slingback part kept falling down and so I held on to them for about a year and a half. But then a friend of mine told me that if you buy stuff from Nordstrom, they'll actually let you return things there even if you've worn them. And so sure enough, I took them back and I returned them. So I guess I don't really regret those anymore. Number 14, show your favorite pair of shoes. Okay, so here are a pair of hot pink leather pumps that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love. I wear these all the time when it comes to be the summer. The brand that shows on the sole is the same as these. It says Le Fou. And um, they're specially made in Korea for extra petite sized feet. So these are some of my favorite shoes. Again, like I said, I love color blocking and so I just love really brightly colored heels right now and these are my favorite colors, pink and purple. So I guess that's the end of the whole tag. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe got a little taste of the kinds of shoes that I like. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe up there and like and favorite the video down below. I'd also love to see 
any of your shoe confessional videos. So if you want to have a reply or anything, please do the tag. You can leave that as a response in the comments down below. So if you want to see a list of all of the questions in this tag, I'll also list them on my blog. That'll be at fromheadtotoe.com. And if you have any shoe questions for me, I guess you can ask me on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!